Like many 50 year olds, Corky's doctors want to listen to her heart. But on an 8,000 pound orca, it can be a unique challenge. The uh, EKG electrodes are placed above and below the heart on the chest. Researchers from the Scripps Institution of Oceanography would eventually like to take the techniques developed for this study and use it to learn about the health of large ocean mammals in the wild. Lots of studies are looking at the response of these animals to ship noise, traffic. Just last week, federal lawmakers asked President Obama to update 20-year-old rules on captive marine mammal treatment. And the California Coastal Commission postponed a vote on whether or not SeaWorld should be permitted to build a larger orca tank. Pongana says using orcas in captivity for this research is necessary. We're studying orcas because they are the largest available animal in captivity and eventually we want to try to develop a recorder that will record the EKG in the large whales. Pongana says this isn't the first time the Scripps Institution of Oceanography studied captive ocean mammals at SeaWorld. He remembers doing an EKG on JJ the gray whale more than 17 years ago. Matt Bowler, KPBS News.